Oh yeah, baby, Arizona World Heavyweight Champion back here again. Unfortunately, yeah, this one is going to be the final video that I do on the series called Turbo Views. Now look at here, I got four DVD sets of the series already. And because there's only so many games you can review for Tobograss at Steam because there's only 148 games for it. <laughs> yeah, the series finally came to a close and Chris Bucci himself released the fifth and final version of Turtle Views on DVD. And let's have a look at it. You still got the standard package here. It looks like it would belong with the other ones here. You stack it up like this. You know, pretty cool. But this one actually comes with four DVDs. <laughs> yeah, again, the presentation is excellent here. You know, full color. Got a good description on the back here. Again, the presentation is awesome, but if you're just getting the DVD set, it's a lot like the other ones, but if you're getting the special set like I did, you're getting a lot more content for your buck. Because this is like the final fight <laughs> of the Turbo Views collection, Chris Pucci went all out to make sure that this was going to be the big grand finale. Yeah. So some cool extras that he threw in, at least with my package of the DVD set. You get this cool little brochure here, which actually looks like the instruction manual that you get with the TurboGrafx 16 itself. Now this little index here, so say you want a certain TurboGrafx 16 review, but you forget which that sits on, yeah, just look up this. You get Airzonk here on the first one. On the second one, you get Ride Zone. Yeah. And the fifth one here has the index on the back. I got this cool little ribbon here that goes over your DVD. A nice little extra. But yeah, the coolest thing about the set, yeah, look at this. <laughs> no, this is not the TurboGrafx 16 Mini here, no. This is actually <laughs> a custom made TurboGrafx Turbo Fuse holder with its own handout. Yeah, just like original TurboGrafx 16. Not even the Mini had that. But you got the handle on here. That's awesome. <laughs> I want to be careful with this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I just want to show that off. It's amazing. Yeah, the only thing it's missing is the guy on the front doing a super happy pose. But I'll do that now. Damn you, NEC, give me my royalties. Chris didn't have to do that. I'm pretty sure this is actually pretty expensive to make, but holy hell, this is awesome. <laughs> See, you want a perfect fit for your DVDs? Stack them up. Throw them in. And now you got a perfect lunchbox for your DVD set right here fits all five very snugly it's awesome oh, I love this <laughs> it's amazing yeah if you know me and the silly little channel I got here I'm kind of a fan of TurboGrafx 16 I think it's okay I'm such a fan of the turbo itself I even got this t-shirt here oh yeah the same year the TurboGrafx 16 came out here in North America so did the Sega Genesis now I know what you're processing in your head there, and yes, this is gonna be a blast. Okay, I even got like a huge TurboGrafx 16 collection right here, over two games. Now yeah, the TurboGrafx 16 games down here, they're holding up my Sega Genesis because it's kind of wobbly. So yeah, that's what they're good for. Hold still, you Sega Genesis. So beautiful. Yeah, look at all these great Sega Genesis titles here. Hey, what are these games anyway? Uh, something called, uh, I don't know, Magical Chase? Eh. Something called Soldier Blade. God, I love Soldier Blade! <laughs> and this one is on Volume 5 of Chris Beauty series. Oh, such a great, amazing shooter. Yeah, I want to watch that review all over again. Oh my god, I love the TurboGrafx 16, it's amazing! Alright, now this is more like it. <laughs> now I can review this series now more easily. Now that I'm more in the spirit. Now if you're familiar with the other TurboView sets, 
nothing too much has changed. You still got the indents here where you can select your game right off the bat. Yeah, say you're on the treadmill or something, you just want to watch the videos back to back. There's a useful play all feature too. Yeah. If you watch my other videos on Total Views, yeah. It's the same tried and true formula that worked out for all these years. Yeah, so say you click on a certain video here, a tricky kick. Yeah, it gives you in that here so you can play a commentary track if it's available. And if you're lucky enough, maybe you might be able to find a secret too. Yeah, there are four Easter eggs to find and they're not too difficult to search out there. It's all awesome, easy to navigate through it's all in that properly it's great yeah so the first three discs here they contain all the reviews on here including the sad final one with E3 <laughs> where the series came to an end uh, that was sad yeah review 135 and the fourth disc here you get a nice son of extras I don't want to spoil it too much but it's still a great look back to see what he's done throughout the years. This one's definitely going to keep you busy here for a while. This is definitely a TurboGrafx-16 fan's dream come true. Yeah! <laughs> Let's do the Turbo Views Volume 5 drinking game. Yeah! Let's pour down here. Now the drinking game is if he does a review and set free and a half out of five Take a shot. Let's try a tricky kick. I'm pretty sure the first review won't be a free alpha. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turbo Views. My name is Chris, and my brain hurts. Why? Because I just played Tricky Kick. That is challenging and a bit addicting. It's a simple idea. First one. It works. Three and a half out five. Late. I better return this game to the rental store. Man, these late fees are going to be pretty high, I'll bet. <laughs> Take a shot. Whoa. <laughs> All right, first one's easy enough. Yeah, when I'm drinking, I get some hair on my face. A bit more stuffed into the game since it can be a relatively short experience. What? But I still think Chase HQ is a lot of fun and a really good port, and I definitely recommend it if you are a fan of the game and the series. All right, well, I guess it's time to go set some speed traps. Come on, Flash. Who get them two boys yet? <laughs> All right, that deserves a shot because that's a three and a half out five. It's only the third one in, it's already the second three and a half out of five. <laughs> Isn't perfect and could have used a bit of variety and a titch of polish on the back end. Yeah, but it's point. a recommend by me for a fun little afternoon with a slinky. Did I have a slinky myself? Three and a half out of five, no, holy shit. I part of a slinky, but I straightened it. We're still on disc one here and that's already three of them. I'm starting to regret this. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Three and a half out of five. <laughs> All right. Thank God I don't have to work tomorrow. Holy shit. What? That's only like five reviews? <laughs> Davis Cup Tennis. If you're not a fan of tennis at all, or tennis video games at all, will Davis Cup Tennis change your mind? No, I doubt it. But if you're a fan of both, this game is pretty solid, and the options available help increase the replay value. Three and a half! Uh. The goes for a realistic approach. Realistic or complicated? Well, that's your call. Oh, fuck. Davis Cup Tennis? Oh, I hated that game. That's a three and a half out of five? <sighs> Bottoms up. <laughs> oh my god, why am I 
I do it? <laughs> That's like 10% of the ball already. <laughs> oh, jeez. And let's face it, some folks might just enjoy trying to destroy a record or two. Oh yeah, I love doing I that. I suppose that can be said for the majority of these kind of track and field Olympic-esque sports games. Ah, that. Uh, oops. <laughs> but this is a three and a half out five. If you enjoy games like this, you really can't go wrong with World Sports Competition. It has a good look, presentation, and feel, and knows exactly what it's trying to be. It is a bit thin in the replay department, but I recommend it. It is really an example of, quote, it is what it is. got myself into I'm still on disc one and that's already five five three and a half out of five <laughs> okay. okay let's do it <laughs> oh man that's one there my chest <laughs> oh okay I'm tapping it out right there. <laughs> the drinking game's over. I'm on disc one here. <laughs> five, five, three and a half out of five. Holy shit. <laughs> Still fun challenge, but I definitely don't recommend it. <laughs> Unless you're hardcore. And you gotta love you. <laughs> Hooch ready available. Maybe I should have tried with a light beer or something because <laughs> Two shots of this, not the easiest. <laughs> I didn't even mint it. All right, gotta focus, gotta focus. I do have a few issues because here I'm holding the Triple Ref 16 Mini and it's a pretty awesome little unit. One of my favorite minis out there, but I was hoping that Chris Pucci maybe like talk a little bit more about it. It appears that he does have it because he talks about it a little bit in his Triple Ref 16 accessory section, but it's not like a full review, so if you're expecting a review of the Tugrass City Mini, you're not going to get it. But I'm pretty sure the guy's busy enough. Okay, Chris Boosie's already done 200 videos on the Tugrass City. I think he's happy to retire at the moment. Yeah, I remember it took me a while to make a 20 minute review of the Tugrass City Mini, so it wasn't easy to make. It can be a huge undertaking, I can understand why. He just wants to get this done. Now look at here, my Turbo Gravity Mini was damaged in the mail because Amazon just shipped this as the box itself. No protection or anything like that. Unlike Chris Bucci here, and none of this was damaged. In fact, it's in pristine condition. It's amazing. Oh yeah, I just love this set. Yeah, so Volume 5 of Turbo Views, The Final Frontier, it earns a 92 out of 100. Now this is awesome, I love it. I love going through all the different reviews again. I was a little bit disappointed that there's only eight commentary tracks and I wish there was like more extras. Like, you know, why not review the Tourist City Mini? But still, that doesn't mean that there weren't extras here. So you got a lot of random reruns, you got a lot of accessory talk, you got a lot of thank yous and everything, and you got exclusive import review of Space Invaders. So that's pretty awesome to see. So you get a nice bit of adventures here on the fourth disc. <laughs> I can't stop stressing how amazing this is. This looks incredible. Uh, if you're a Turtlegrass 16 fan, this is a no-brainer. You gotta get this in your set. I got a Turtlegrass 16 collection back here. This looks perfect for it. But let's do that now. Yeah, that looks perfect there. Just watch some turbo views. Understand which gains are good, which ones are bad. Yeah, he does cover a lot of great ones in here. You know, like Raiden, Beyond Shadowgate. So the series has come to an end. 
I was hoping for a little bit more extras, you know, I'm just a greedy jerk that wants it all. Volume 5 here has over 50 videos you can watch. And Chris Bucci here does give a lot of thank yous and everything for watching this series. And I want to give him a thank you too because, man, it was amazing. There's so few people out there talking about the TurboGrass-16. It deserves more attention. So many awesome games, so many underrated classics, and it has its place in video game history. And if you want to get yourself more educated, <laughs> definitely check out Turbo Views here. Awesome series and volume 5 here is a great addition to this set. Oh yeah, so sexy. And that's it for me. This is Airzonk, World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, and it fits over 12 Sega Genesis games. <laughs> Alright, let's get that crap out of here.